Hello there, and welcome to this introduction to Renderman Studio. In this discussion, it's more of a discussion than a tutorial, we'll be looking at what actually Renderman Studio is, what comes bundled with it, and the fact it is larger than just Renderman for Maya. So many of you will have seen a bunch of previous tutorials I've done, which look at various aspects of shading and lighting within Renderman for Maya. And Renderman for Maya is a wonderful piece of technology and user-friendly and gets you access to a lot of the high-end technology under the hood of Renderman. Um, but it doesn't actually get everything because of certain limitations within the interface in Maya and the way in which code is handled. We do actually have some extra tools that come bundled and installed when Renderman Studio is downloaded and put onto your machine to get better access to higher features of the Renderman shading language and rib files and a whole bunch of other stuff that we'll be looking at along the way as we work through our educational journey with Renderman. So, Let's have a look at the first of these. It's something which we will have seen several times, and I've, I've mentioned it just in passing. And that is, in actual fact, the image tool, it. This is Pixar's image tool. So it comes bundled. It's a separate program. It can be run on its own. It comes bundled with um, Renderman Studio, and it replaces, to an extent, the inbuilt Maya render view. So you can actually select to use it or not to use it under the render options here in the top bar menu for render. And we'll just go to the options here. And currently I have it set to preview style is it. If I just go to render view and I do another render, we'll see I'm back to the render view from Maya. I prefer using it. It gives you access to extra features which are not necessarily going to be available in the Maya window anytime soon. Also gives us access to a, a catalog of images which we have rendered. And we can work with these, we can composite between them, we can blend between them, we can do all kinds of stuff with them, which we will explore in a slightly later tutorial. So there'll be a tutorial on it coming up shortly. All I can say is when I'm working within Renderman Studio, I like using it. It is my preference. I think it's production proven and has benefits. Up to you to choose what you like. Okay, so that's the image tool. Now there's another program which is a major part of Renderman, which comes bundled, is installed when you install your Renderman um, Studio, and is licensed as part of the same license. That is Slim. Now, Slim is basically an external program. It's not running in Maya, but it's an external program which allows us to build shaders, various types of shaders. We can have lighting shaders, we can have material shaders, we can have camera shaders. And it can be thought of to an extent as an external version of Hypershade. So let's just have Hypershade here, rendering editors and Hypershade. Let's drag it. It's open to my other window here. So let's drag it in here. So it's kind of an external version of Hypershade. With the caveat that it's actually much more in tune with Renderman. It actually gets into the nitty gritty of what's happening in Renderman itself. So we can actually build shaders which are hugely Renderman compliant and at the same time we can go in and deal with them at a code level if we want to and dynamically link these back to Maya. So just a very quick um, intro to this. The first thing I'm going to do here, just to give you some kind of, I suppose it is a tutorial at this point, just make a new palette. I'm going to make a an ensemble, which is basically a container. So I'm going to just make a material ensemble. I'm going to oops, make a general purpose shader. Okay, I'm going to link these two together, just middle mouse drag to link the two together. And 
with the material ensemble here, I'm going to right click and attach. Oops, right click and attach, which is up here. Okay. That's now attached to the currently selected material in Maya. Let's just see that. Won't be that different from stuff we've been doing in the past. Okay, slightly different in that it has um, some specularity on it and the default shader didn't. But we can just see how dynamically linked this is. So if I just change this to always on top, go to my material ensemble, my surface here, and I change the color to a brightish red. Okay. Now I don't need to do anything else to relink it. If I go to re-render, that's updated. So what goes on here in Slim is reflected instantly in Maya. So it's dynamic linking and is really, really powerful. You can build all kinds of networks within this with a whole bunch of different nodes which are specifically designed for rendering. We can get access to some nodes within um, the Maya Hypershade, but it's not designed for pure random and shading language, whereas it, when I say it, I should say Slim, definitely, Slim definitely is designed for the random and shading language. So, both of these programs are external from Maya and link with it. Now, there is another program which some people may find of use. I don't personally use, um, because I don't have much need for massive amounts of rendering. Now let me just show you what this is. This is Pixar's Tractor, which works with render farms. Now it doesn't come a standard part of the install, but it is something that you get by entitlement when you get Renderman Studio, I believe. Like I've downloaded it, I haven't installed it because I don't have a render farm. So Tractor obviously has agricultural connotations, and the idea behind it is it's a management tool for render farms could be very useful for people who are uh, working on end of year projects or people who actually have commercial projects, obviously, um, that you can use it to manage the assignment of jobs to various machines throughout your institution. Um, I believe it can even be used for a tool or as a tool for other renderers. I'm not sure about that myself, not having used it, but I believe it's amazingly powerful and I hear it spoken of very well. So it doesn't come as part of the standard install, just in case you're wondering, where's my tractor? It is a separate download for you. Okay, so this has been a brief introduction to the other aspects of RenderMan Studio, aspects which are not tied directly inside Maya, but are linked and accessed from Maya. Um, both it and Slim can be run externally and actually compile stuff which has worked entirely outside Maya, but they link beautifully with Maya at this point. And my workflow is generally working within Maya. Yours may, may not be. So this is just briefly what these tools are. We will now go and have a look at some of the in-depth features these tools have and how they can be useful to you in production. So thank you very much for listening to this and hopefully it's been of use to you. Be back soon with some more information on both it and Slim.